This is going to be very important for the muscles and the way the knee works. And if you followed my instructions, it should look something like this. Yo, what is up you guys? How's it going? It's your boys H Comic Art and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to draw this leg right here. Yes, it looks super cool. So make sure you keep watching if you want to know how to draw this step by step. I'll be teaching you guys how to draw it from start to finish and I have a really cool hack for drawing the back of the leg. So make sure you guys stay till the end of the video to watch that. Also, if you guys are new here, welcome to the family. Let me know down in the comments if you're new because I want to welcome every single one of you guys. We are on the daily grind. The ZHC fam is going to be the biggest art channel on YouTube soon enough. Also, let me know down in the comments which body part you want me to draw next. A lot of people requested for the legs, which is why I drew this. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. Alright, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I think I want to start off by showing you guys something pretty cool, which is the basic forms of the leg. Here we have the basic form. You can see the inside. I'm showing you that it's mostly straight. The knee is straight as well, and then there's a little curve for the calves. I'm going to show it at a different angle so you guys kind of get a good idea of it. This angle it shows it's curved and straight on one side, and on the other side it's the opposite. This this kind of shows the rhythm between the legs and I'm showing you guys the rhythm on the legs on the left side. So we're going to use that in the final drawing. Make sure you guys pay attention to that and follow it. I'm going ahead roughing in the upper thigh. I'm kind of trying to get the curve on the outside as you can see the inside is fairly straight. On the bottom, it there's like a little triangular piece for the calves, but in general it is more straight as well and it follows that line. On the outside you can see there's a lot more curvature and there is also a straight line for where the knee is. I'm kind of just adjusting at this stage. You can just go loosely. I'm showing you guys the direction of the different parts of the leg, the one I showed you earlier. So make sure you guys go back to that if you guys don't know what I just did. All right, over here, I'm trying to play around with the lighting, but yeah, oh well. Here, this is going to be very important for the muscles and the way the knee works. Oh, hello there. Okay, and at this point we should be able to start roughing in muscles real quick. The line I just drew, it's a very important muscle, it's called the sartorius I believe. That kind of divides the main muscles, the main three muscles, with the little fibers inside of the leg. So I just erased it down so I can barely see the lines. I'm going over with it again. This time I am going to define the muscles a little bit more. There you see the kneecaps, the kneecap and the bones. The little circles represent the bones of the tibia, fibula, that stuff, and the femur. Here you see me roughing in the muscles. Those three muscles up there are very important. So just draw it like I did and you can split up the calf muscles because you can see them a little bit from behind. At this point, we have the main structure of the leg down, so we should be able to go in with a darker pencil soon. I have the 2B pencil right now. I'm kind of just putting in some line weights. Everything that turns away from the light is going to be shadowed in or the line is going to be thicker just a little bit because the light source is coming from directly above. You can see the kneecap, the bottom of it is shadowed in and the little bones 
down there near the feet are also shadowed in on the underside. And after this step, I am going to show you guys how to do the shadows and I have a little trick for you guys so you can learn it better. Over here, this is kind of a short demo I'm going to do. As you can see, I have the leg on the right, the light source is coming from up top. Anything that turns away from the light is going to be shadowed in and it is easier to see it from the side since we are going to be drawing it from the front. So you can kind of match up these legs to know where the shadows are going to go. As you can see, the bottom of the thigh has a lot of shadow because it's turning away and the bottom or the entire shin is going to be shadowed in because it is turning away from the light. Over here I'm showing it from the front view, everything that's turning away has some shadow to it. Should be fairly straightforward and we are going to apply it to our drawing right now. So each muscle since the light is from the top we are going to shadow the bottom portion and you can go back and see how I shadowed in the first leg with the pen and that's pretty much where the shadows are going to fall as you can see. I'm going to keep it fairly light at the very top of the thigh. It gets darker at the bottom since it kind of curves in. The knee and the shin is going to be very very dark because it curves very far in and doesn't really protrude out so it's not going to be catching the light from straight above. This shows the... Well, this kind of gives it the illusion that it's going back in space instead of coming outwards and that's what you want with the leg because the leg, if you just draw it normally with the same kind of lighting everywhere, it's really not going give, to give the same effect because it'll look like a two-dimensional leg on paper instead of something that really pops out. Over here, I'm just kind of shading in the muscles. And near the bottom, it's going to start to protrude out again, so there's not going to be as much shadow there. More light is going to cast right there. And as you go along, you can keep adjusting, kind of fix things up as it goes and we are almost done over here just adding a little bit of shadow there's the hip I'm kind of showing you guys how the leg connects to the hip right there So there we have it. Next up, I'm going to show you guys the little trick I was talking about. Here is how you draw the back of the leg. So as you can see, we're drawing the same structure as the front. So it looks exactly like the front, except for when you flip it over and you draw different muscles, you can actually draw the back of the leg. So if it gets confusing for you, all you have to do is draw the front leg first without any detail and then add the muscles like it's the back of the leg. That's just a really quick hack for you guys. Oh. Followed my instructions, it should look something like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully, this video helped you guys a little bit about drawing legs. I have more tutorials just like this. I think I did one about the torso and one about the arms. So I will leave those in the description down below. Make sure you guys check that out. For tomorrow's video, I am doing a challenge with my best friend Steve. Most of you guys have probably heard about him before. If not, make sure you watch my other videos because he is included in a lot of them. Anyways, it should be super, super fun. I shouldn't be telling you guys this, but it's going to be the left hand versus right hand challenge. I hope you guys are excited for that. This video shout out goes to Adam Song Gamble. I hope I said that correctly. If you want to win a shout out to, all you have to do is join the notification squad. Subscribe, turn on post notifications by clicking that little bell, and let me know down in the comments when you're done. Because that is where all the cool kids are at. I'm part of, well technically I am part of it. A lot of people are part of it. Make sure you're part of it too. I think that is about it. I will see you guys tomorrow, and keep your pencils moving. See you next time. Bye.